Welcome back to my channel, whatever the fuck this channel is. Um, anyway, hello. I already fucking said that. Okay, so today we're doing a bad review. My first review on this channel ever. This is about a foundation called Il Maquillage. Maquillage. However the fuck you say that. And if my voice sounds really fucking gross, it's because I'm sick. I'm very sorry. Alright, so here I am. If you're wondering why I'm doing a voiceover instead of the actual audio in this video, it's because the video's audio was just absolutely unusable. You couldn't even fucking hear me say shit. Okay, so here I am priming to, um to get ready to put on the foundation. Now the first thing I want to say about this foundation, uh, I guess I'll just start from the beginning, is that I ordered it online because I, I saw a lot of ads on it. <clears throat> Sorry. I ordered, I ordered it online. It said that there was a 14 day trial. So basically I guess you were able to like um, return it. I didn't end up returning it because I didn't know how to, and I was too lazy to do it, um, so yeah, just so you know, if you're one of, like, if you're a person like me, where you kind of forget about subscriptions, or shit like that, I'm actually kind of good at remembering subscriptions and shit like that, but, uh, for some reason, I was just, like, not feeling having to return this, like, bottle of foundation even though it was kind of crappy <clears throat> we'll get into more things like that later but yeah so it came in a package like at midnight and it, it's not terrible it's not a terrible foundation but again we'll, we'll we'll get into that right now so i received the package at like midnight one night and I decided to try it on the next day so that's this day is me trying it on and oh wow that's a lot <laughs> that's a that's a lot of fa um that's not the foundation that's the uh sunblock um and basically it came in a package that said that minimalism isn't dead which is a weird statement for a foundation to have on it. Now I'm going to show you the bottle. It's right there. That's what it looks like. It looks kind of fancy. But it, it looks like it doesn't have a lot of product in it as well. And after using it one time, you could clearly tell in the bottle that I obviously used a lot of it. Or, or I didn't even use a lot of it. Or did I? We'll see. We'll see. But... It, it was obvious that it was already, like, used, and I just didn't like that. Oh, what was I saying? Okay, so, on the package it said that minimalism isn't dead, and I just thought that was fucking weird, because who the fuck says that minimalism isn't dead on a foundation package? Especially, it came in, like, that this black box that she's showing you right now like I'm showing you right now I don't know why I'm referring to myself in the third person but also that little note card right there says makeup for maximalists so I don't know what to fucking say about this foundation other than it claims to be minimalistic even though it's not and minimalism isn't dead because of this goddamn foundation. Minimalism isn't dead because, well, there are these guys on the internet called the minimalists. And they have like 6,000 patrons on their Patreon. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that they should claim that minimalism isn't dead because of them. Other than this foundation. Um, and I would argue that they would say that the packaging of this, not the, not the bottle itself, but the packaging of the, um, of the foundation is not very minimalistic. It came in a, it came in a package 
in a box and in that box there was a box so yeah you do the math it's not exactly minimalistic so let's just get into what the fuck this whole like foundation is about I tried it on and it was kind of like it was kind of hydrating which I put on my preferences that I have combination skin and I I just I don't know I, I don't know what to say about um having like a more hydra it, it had like hydrating um elements instead of um like a mixed of those I'd say it was more hydrating than anything and in the summer I get very oily so this was not exactly good for the summertime which it is right in that um in this fucking video um it, it's just cute packaging I okay the price point is like forty dollars so I spent like forty dollars on this foundation and uh, I mean I couldn't I, I could have not spent forty dollars and just returned it and realized like oh I don't like it that much right but I forgot so that's my own fault but at the same time like if you were to just buy this foundation in a store it would be ten times easier to to be able to return it and like get your money back like that instead of having to go through this whole process of like an online um an online store or an online foundation that you don't really know what you're getting i do have to say that the the match was a pretty good match i was afraid that like I was afraid that it was a little too orange when I first started looking at it, but then I was like, oh, no, it's perfect, it's fine, like, it it's actually really matches my skin tone. That's the one, like, good thing I could say about this foundation, is that it did match exactly my skin tone. I, I was impressed. I was thoroughly impressed. Anyway, um, I went outside... And I thought it was too orange and I was too afraid. But then I, I talked to um, my friend and I was like, do I look too orange? And they said no. So I was obviously just overreacting about that. Um, another thing I want to say about this foundation is that I, I, I put on like a liquid highlighter on top of this. And because it's so hydrating, it like, I don't know, it was so slick and it did not look right on the skin so that's just it's a little it's a little bit of a testament um it's a little bit of a just just so you know if you put something liquid on top of this foundation it's gonna kind of go runny because <clears throat> damn I'm sorry, because it is so hydrating. Like, I don't know if I have it on right there. I think I do. I think I do. It just doesn't look right. You know what I mean? Do you see that? It just, it looks kind of, like, weird. Like, whenever I put on a fucking um, highlighter on top of just my skin or on a regular, like, foundation that I use, um, it, it usually isn't, like kind of messy or looks fucking weird like it does on my skin right there I don't know I just I looked all around just sweaty when I had this foundation on I should have pro probably put like some powder on it so anyway I'm just saying that the price point isn't really worth it considering um you can get a better foundation um in a store and then all you have to do is go back to the store and return it um yeah and then okay i probably used the foundation like twice 
And what ended up happening... Oh, look, she's showing you the fucking um, highlighter. Okay. What I noticed about this foundation is that on the frosted glass, you can tell that, like, I absolutely used it. Which, in a lot of foundation bottles, especially after the first time you use it, you don't really see that on the outside of the bottle, like, oh, I use that. No, usually it's like, oh, I can't even tell that I even fucking use it. It must be a lot of product. Even if it's kind of tricking you, I do not like that the bottle did that. Um, and then on the outside and the rim of the bottle, like, where the foundation, like, if you open up the bottle and you want to, like, look at the foundation inside, that's, like, spilling out on the edges, and it just upsets me because it's still sitting in my like my makeup case and I have to I have to deal with that and I have to deal with like the messiness of it so this is my second attempt I did it twice before I ever wanted to do a review on it but she's gonna show you right here the way the packaging kind of looks after like that was actually one use of it you see that oh my god it's so fucking messy that's just ridiculous uh, i just have to say and then right there you can see that i absolutely did use the product like i just i've never seen a foundation do something like that and that shit was worth forty dollars i'm sorry that shit is worth like that shit is worth I, I have a Catrice fucking foundation that works better than this foundation. I'm sorry. And that shit was like $10. Like, not even half the price of that motherfucking foundation. Just weird. Um, also, with the price point of the foundation, that also is a testament to how it's not at all fucking minimalistic who the fuck is gonna go oh yeah here's this little bottle and it's minimalistic and it's worth forty dollars and you're gonna be like what forty dollars for this and you're calling it minimalistic I, I don't know what to tell you about that i'd say being more minimalistic means that you're more money savvy or you're you know you're Thinking about yourself as much as you can um, when you're a minimalist. I'm not saying that I am. I know that I, I know that I have, you know, I have some problems, and I bought this fucking foundation. So guess what? I'm not a minimalist. But the fact that it claimed that just really irked me. And obviously, I'm over here like, what the fuck do you even mean? um, it's minimalistic, I just, that's the one thing that actually really, like, had me questioning it the most, because who the fuck, there's no foundation out there that even claims to be minimalistic, or anything like that, and the fact that this foundation does, it doesn't, like, get me riled up, but it makes me, like, question. Like, it puts, like, a big old question mark above my head. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, I, I just have to say, it's not the best foundation. Um, if I were to rate it, I'd give it, like, I'd give it a 5 out of 10, which is not a good, you know... It's not a good score because that is literally half. Um, but yeah, I could have gone to the store, gotten a foundation that was probably ten times better than this foundation. Um, maybe it wouldn't be an exact match, but at least um, it wouldn't act weirdly with my liquid foundation. At least it wouldn't... Um, it just wouldn't be a fucking weird purchase. And this was definitely one of my weirdest purchase purchases as far as makeup because 
makeup doesn't really bother me. Ma makeup is actually really fun. But this one, this bothered me. And I just wanted you to know that. Anyway, so I'm going to do another makeup look with it. And oh my god. <laughs> I, I thought it looked good at this point. It doesn't. Uh, uh, but this is one of my favorite makeup looks that I did. And I put it on my Patreon. And I'll, I'll link it down below. Um, but basically, this is um, my... How do you fucking say that word? How do you say that word? Let me see. It's kind of fish that, like, I don't know, I think they're cute, but they also look kind of freaky at the same time. How to pronounce... Yeah. How do you say this word? Okay. Oh, it's gonna do it right here. Axolotl. Axolotl. It's my axolotl. Um, I was gonna say oxolotl, so thank god it, you know... They had a pronunciation bot on on Google. So this is my oxalotl, um, oh, I said oxalotl, axolotl, um, kind of look. And I don't know. I just, I like this look. But again, the foundation was definitely weird in some places. It, it's not terrible. It's not a terrible foundation. But considering the price point, considering the, um the all-around just shit I had to go through to be able to do this, like, um, to, to be able to do this look, or not, not this look, um, to be able to get this foundation and all the different things that it kind of claimed, I just didn't really agree with it. And, um, just so you know, uh, the reason I'm calling it a bad review is just because I don't think it's the best kind of review. It's not the best video footage. It's not the best, um, audio recordings. But now I do have a microphone and now I do have a better camera. So hopefully, all in all, we actually, um, do a better job at, at these, um, at these reviews but thank you for watching me do god knows what and go ranting on about minimalism for a while um thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye